In this video, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to percent. The word percent means per 100. So 78% with the percent sign mathematically means 78 divided by 100 times 100%. Now I'd like to cover basic arithmetic and percent values. With addition and subtraction and division, perform those operations directly on the values. So for example, 50% plus 25% would equal 75%. It's good to note that percent values are really terms, sort of like 2x or 5 where if you're going to add these terms, they need to be like terms. So 50% and 25% are like terms. For example, that would be like 50x or 25x, and you could add those like terms. But you cannot add a whole number 50 and 25%. They are unlike terms. Similarly with subtraction, we could subtract two like terms, in this case percent terms, 100% minus 40%, but we cannot carry out legitimate math with unlike terms with subtraction, 100 minus 40%, for example. With division, simply divide the percent value by a whole number, in this case 66% divided by 3, or if we choose to take a ratio of percents, we could divide two percent values, 66 percent divided by three percent, which would give us a 22 to 1 percent ratio, or just the value 22. With multiplication, on the other hand, we need to convert the percent value to a workable numeric value. So for example, if we wanted to carry out the multiplication of 75 percent times 25, or 75 percent of 25, we first need to divide the percent value by 100 to cancel out the percent symbol and then get a decimal value which would be 0.75 and then we could carry out the multiplication operation. Two percent values can also be multiplied 50 percent times 25 percent or 50 percent of 25 percent. First, we'll divide the percent values by 100 to cancel out the percent symbol, then perform the math. 0.5 times 0.25 would be 0.125, and then convert the decimal value back to a percent, multiplying the 0.125 by 100% to get 12.5%. But you might see just by inspection that 25% of 50 is 12.5%. Now we'll do a type of problem where you're asked to find the decimal notation of a percent. Here we have 75% and we need to convert that to a decimal. We divide the 75% by 100%. The percent signs cancel and the answer is 0.75. Next, we have 0.0429%. Again, we divide by 100%, the percent signs cancel, and we're left with 0.00429. Now, we'll do some problems where we need to find the percent notation of a fraction. Here we have 22 over 50. Just as if we had a decimal value, which we would multiply by 100%, we multiply the fraction by 100%. We could simplify this by canceling out the 50, which is a common factor between 100 and 50. And what's left is 44%. Next, 3 eighths. Here we also see a common factor 
between the hundred and the denominator eight. In this case, the common factor is four, and we cancel the four, and three times 25 divided by two is 37 and a half percent.